Yeah, man, see all prison and all. Until you have a machine, you have a machine, you have a machine. Double and nice, they have passes. They have to all the hillers out there. Shalom, man, to the brothers that across the world. You know, pushing this truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. And shalom, man, to the few sisters. Yeah, this is a brother from the famous Jamaica camp. Um, yes, am I? Sure, I know. I know, and you know, listen. You know, hopefully, you know, it's edifying, you know, to the elect, you know, and um, the kingdom of heaven, right? Because that's basically um, our end goal at the end of the day. You know, basically putting in the word now, so we can, you know, receive, you know, what your heavenly Father, your how, right? The true name in the Hebrew, which is on the house, shine, you know, promise unto us. We are going to receive, right? If we know the work until the end, right? Become a part of the first fruit, right? We will get all the goodies. When we basically, we, 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 when we basically truly, I can live, right? Because you know, as you know, apostle, you know, been saying years back, you know, we existed, really and truly, we existing right now, we're not living in the system, right? But in the kingdom to come, we're going to truly live, you know? we will truly know what you know, life is. You know, I can't even what we get from the scripture, right? Give me um, Psalms 126. You okay, can start the first one. Psalms 126 and 1. Mm. It says, um, A song of, deg of degrees when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. We were all like them that dream. Right, we dug in front of There's a, a song. Let's see from verse one. Psalms 126 and 1. A song of degree, degrees. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, God. we were like them that dream. We were like them that dream because to, we are going to live in the kingdom to come. Right? That will come like a, it, it all, will come like a nightmare. You know, the life we are living now in the society. You know, the average people think that, you know, life can't get better than this, right? Constantly working, as has got work for what? The curse. So we are going to have We're going to leave our own, we're going to have no rest. Like, this is life. This is not life. You see, when the Lord turned back again, the captivity of the Lord of Zion, we were like them that dream. So how we are living now, that can become a nightmare to how compared to how we are going to live in the kingdom to come. Right? Oh, it hit. Go on. Men with in this society now, yeah. them, them dream of having a, having a, you know, a well, a well off life. Yeah. You know what I say? I believe a lavish life in a this society. Mm -hmm. But hey, as long as they're in this society, you're not gonna live happy no matter how much riches you may gain. Yeah. Because guess what? As a people, we are under the curses. Yeah, that's the point. In the kingdom, the curses are gonna be removed from our us. Yes. So yeah. whatever we are gonna gain in the kingdom, man. We are going to live happy. We're not going to be like how Esau said out here. We are going to live happy and own nothing. nothing. We are going to be happy and own everything. Everything. Yeah. We finally can live as I mentioned. We're going to ask each other to um, you know, um, sit there. Ezekiel. We're going to look further. Ezekiel um, 24. Um, 36 and 24. 36. 36 and 24. This is Ezekiel 36 verse 24. 24. Yeah. So far I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of our country. So the heavenly father, I'm going to send him to your house, shy, I'm going to deliver the elect you know, from the four wings of the earth account to reading in the scripture. Right? But basically, what getting ready to take place right now, the house shy is coming back to deliver the elect. Can. Right from basically all the scatter to the folk and the hurt. Right, go on, brother. Say, and gather you out of all countries, man, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean man. from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, man. and a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the stony heart 
out of your flesh. So we're going to become all righteous. Right? All of us. We're not going to have some Jake, you know, and do what they feel for do. And the rest of the Jake and, eh? and do the right thing. All of us going to be righteous. If I say we're going to be all righteous. Can't. You see, now I say, um, to no man, um, learn the law. But we all shall know the law. From the least of us to the greatest, going to know the laws of the Heavenly Father. Because we're going to have the laws written in our inward part, in our mind. So we're not going to ever go off again. Right? Go on. Yeah. And I will take away the stone and heart out of your flesh, Go and on. I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and right. cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgment and do them. Go on. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. Continue, continue. Say, I will also save you from all your uncleanness. Uncleanness. Yeah. Right, because the society, uh, all people living in right now, destroys us completely. Because in this, uh, in this world, right now, especially over the West, right becomes wrong, and wrong becomes right. Right? So wickedness normalizes, you know, certain things, you know, people that are scared, you know, if you do, say 20 years ago or 15 years ago, now it become the norm. Right? Uh, uh, Paul now with them wickedness, you proud of it, you I show off of yourself out in Jamaica, show off with them doing them wickedness. Because I said that becomes the norm now in the society. So you must say, the Lord, save all people from the uncleanness. Right? All the you know, muddies of this world. Hiders, witchcraft, filthiness, all these things we're going to get cleansed from. Go on, brother. And I will call for the corn and I will increase it and lay no famine upon you. So we're not going to ever go through no more salvation. This famine we're about to eat this earth is going to be the last famine we ever go through as a people. Alright? What, brother? I will. I will multiply the food of thy tree and the increase of the field. So we're going to receive the blessings now. Now currently now, we are under the curses. As the brother mentioned about the curse. Right? We're in Deuteronomy 28 from the 15th verse right down to the 60th verse. Right? We are under the curses now. So in the kingdom we're going to receive the blessings. Right? Go on. That ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Go on. Then shall you remember your own evil ways. So this is the point I want to get to from you know the scripture. So people are gonna remember their own evil ways. So they're gonna remember, you know, what they're gonna do on this side, all the wickedness they're gonna do in this on this side. Right? Following Esau, you know. As I mentioned, the right becomes wrong now. Right? And the wrong becomes right. So the super say, then you're gonna remember your own evil ways. They're gonna remember all the way do on this side. All the wickedness you'll be doing on this side. Go on, brother? And your doings that were not good, Can. and shall loathe yourself in your own sight. Can. Because I already know. Alright. Can finally be a website. Yeah, sir. Been on the service. Yeah. Mm. Loathe, the meaning. Mm. It says, um, feel. It says, um, feel intense dislike to, um, Discuss for uh, yeah. so, so this is the definition of the word of uh, love. Yeah. I mean feeling discuss. Yeah. Right? They're gonna, they're gonna basically feel discuss of all the things that I regret yeah. of all the things that we do on this side. Because yeah. you're, you're gonna be basically all people are gonna be in their right mind as I mentioned because all of us are gonna be righteous. Right? So all the things they want to find this side, they're gonna you know, yeah. they're gonna feel discuss as as brother going at the definition. So no one actually no one said I do these things back then. Right? So we, we when this church, you know, we open pray, you know, we hold fast, you know, to this, you know, this church until the end. Right? Because it's gonna be a you know very <laughs> scary time in days to come. We now have a Lord on the side. So we open pray there, how about she make sure we could finish the work? Right? Because you gotta remember all the past life, you know, we basically do on this side here. Right, brother? 
say, um, then shall you remember your own evil ways Gone. and your doing that are that were not good Gone. and shall load yourself in your own sight. Gone. Discuss your own, your own self, the things you will do. Shame. A shame will come upon you. Gone. You know, for all the things you will do on this side, you Jake involved in all different types of madness. Gone. For your iniquity and for your abomination. Gone. Right, brother, back to your scripture, Larry. One more Psalms. Yeah. Psalms 126 and 1. It says a song of decrees. Lord, it says, um, When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. When the Lord shall turn again the captivity of Zion, go on. Yeah. We were, we were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. So all we are going to live in the kingdom compared to now, that come like a nightmare as I mentioned. Go on. Go on. Then was our mouth filled with laughter Go on. and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the Eden, the Lord had done great things for them. Go on. So the Lord had done great things for us. In, in Psalms, um, um, I want you to come to mind. Psalms, I want you to uh, 49. So we are going to sing a lot upon our bed. That scripture. Mm. Probably going to scripture there. Um, Ashar. Psalms 149. So we're going to sing upon our bed. Psalms, Psalms 149. Yeah, verse. Verse. Start at verse 5. Verse 5. Go on. You say, um, let the saints be joyful in glory. Can. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. So we're going to sing upon our bed. We should talk about the kingdom to come. Right? In the near future, we're going to sing upon our bed. Because we don't have no work to do. Right? In this society, you, know, you have constantly at work. Right? You know what I mean? Try to make twins meet, living in this society. Right? And as, as, um, and as um, time go, go on, you get time, as time go on, things get in order and order. You get in order and order for surviving the society. So if you have to more, you have to put in more work in order to survive you know, in the society because you know, everything getting expensive, you know, the inflation and all these things. Right? But in the kingdom to come, this is what the scripture says, what take place to so, us, the Israelites, you know, starting with the elect. We're gonna sing up our bed, but we're not gonna have no work to do, no job, right? One, no more, no more, you know, boss man, you know, to give harder. We're gonna basically, you know, give the hardest, right? The table gonna turn. That's how basically take place when the table gonna turn. We are gonna rest while our enemies gonna work. Edomites and the rest of this Eden nation, they're gonna work. For them time for work, yo. So she said we're gonna sing up our bed. Go on, brother. Then let the saints be joyful in glory. Go on. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Go on. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth. Go on. And a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the So we're going to execute vengeance upon these nations. Go on. Go on. And punishment upon the people. So they're going to pay for them to, to us, especially the Edomites. So can white people. Go on. To bind their king with chains. Go on. And their nobles. Fetters of iron. Because so, slavery is coming for you, you know, my start with the elites. Eh? Survive, you know, this coming nuclear destruction. You know, flee to them bunkers. They're going to start with slavery. Where are going? To execute upon them the judgment written. Done. This honor of all his saints. Done. Praise the Lord. Exactly. That's what we're waiting on. Done. Right? Alright. This is um, Revelation 21 and 4. It says, And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears. From their eyes, Can. and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Yeah, so all this, all these suffering, all the things, illness, you know, things that we have to deal in the society. So if I say all these things are gonna be wiped away, they become a thing of the past. Cause we're not gonna ever go through no more sickness, no more sorrows, no more death amongst our people. All these things. They're going to truly gonna live. <laughs> As you know, we mentioned about apostles, you know, Gabba, you know, but then usually speak about, you know, we existing. Okay. And we're not living. And we're not living too. This is when they're truly gonna live. No more sit with again, brother Phantom. Psalms 21 and 4. God. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So all tears from our eyes. Go on. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow. 
or crying. You need a sorrow. So we're not going to have no more sorrow off mine. Alright, go back to the curse. Good. What? Um, neither shall there be any more pain. Gun. For the former things are passed away. Gun. In. Exactly what? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Gun. Go back to and the he Greek said, kindness. Yeah. And refresh. Gun. What? I made all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Yeah, they believe that him. Yeah, the Heavenly Father is true and faithful. So that's what basically coming for us, right? You know, the kingdom to come. We're going to truly live. Right? The society is all about, you know, stress. Up on top of stress, death and destruction. That's what basically brings you. say, arise here and depart. But this is not our rest. This is not our rest, you know. And more and more as the day go by, you know, we've seen it clearly. This is not our rest. Because it is polluted and it will destroy our evil with a sore destruction. Alright, go on. So Hebrews 4 and 9. It says, There remain it, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Yes, yeah, so there remain it a rest for us. But as we are going to go to rest, as we are truly going to rest, the kingdom to come. Rest from all the madness of this society we have to deal with throughout the daily life. Alright, go on. For he that is entered into his rest, go on. he also had ceased. From his own works, God. as Yahweh Shai did from his. Exactly. Right, yeah. Give me another one of Hebrews. I think Hebrews 10, 10 and 6. This is Hebrews 10, verse 6. Burnt up, no, 6 and 10. 6 and 10. Hebrews 6 and verse 10. It says, For, Yah for Yahweh is not unrighteous. Um, to forget your work and labor of love. So all the works we've been putting in, you know, over the years, you know, starting our pastors and our elders and down. So I said, Lord, how about Hashem is not unrighteous with God, our labor of love. Right. But the key thing is we have to finish the work. Right? So I said, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Right. You have to endure until the end. Right. So you that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So we have to endure the work until the end. So if you finish your work, this is what the scripture says. The how about Shemirisha is not unrighteous to God, our labor of love. One. Um, um, our labor of love. One. Which he have shown towards his name. Done. In that he have ministered to the saints. Done. And do minister. Done. Right. Um, that's it. You know what I'm Ezekiel 39, Ezekiel 39, 23, Ezekiel 39, 23, Ezekiel 39, verse 23, Ezekiel 39, verse 23, Ezekiel 39, 23, and the Eden shall, yes, and the Eden shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. For their iniquity. The scripture says the Eden are going to know the reason why we went into captivity, we went into slavery. Because now, though they are looking down at us, but they see us as nothing right now. Especially the so called niggers. The scripture says, them, them hig and wag them head, you know, for the daughters of the Lord people. And says, this is certainly the deal they look for. We have to see how they fall. But the scripture says, the Eden shall know that. The reason why we went into captivity. The reason why we went into slavery. Go on. For their iniquity. Go on. Because they transgress. No, they no. Because they trespass against me. Therefore, in I my face from them. Go on. And gave them into the hand of, the, of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. Go on. Exactly. Yes. Right? Like Turn in peace. Going back to him, take away name, bow it. Everything we lose, and now we're getting back everything now. God, Lord, you know, have mercy on us and give us, you know, back everything now. Because now we're receiving everything. Now we are going to receive the kingdom. We are about to receive, you know, everything. Because, you know, we can see that we're close down to the end of the society. Right? And how our kingdom is next. Excuse me, what? Esau is the end of this world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. Follow So we're going to receive everything. Excuse me, say, the Lord, good pleasure. To give us the kingdom. Can't, right? 
So that I say I'll praise the Zanan and Yahoo Marsh and Shai Bash and Kakodash. And double Anans to the apostles, to the elders of Great Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and mothers here, and also to the few sisters. Yeah, shalom. Shalom.